Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make glitter plugs like these. I'll be showing you step by step how to make them. So what you will need, you will need to have a single flare stainless steel tunnels. You can use double flared but I like using a single flare because you could get a reversible look with them so you could you wear them either way. You will also need an orange stick to stir the mixture together. You would need epoxy glue and the glue hardener. I got this from B&Q for like £3.50. Um, you can get it in any hardware store, so it's just resin epoxy glue. But you can't have one without the other, so you need to get two. You will need a candle, so I will be using the little pot of the candle. And then the final thing you will need is loads of glitters of your choice and I'm going to be making blue blue plugs because these ones I made like a purpley so I'm going to make blue this time oh and you will need sellotape sellotape is important otherwise you will have a very messy messy lot I'm just going to move the angle of the camera so bear with me a second okay guys so once you've taken the o-rings off your tunnels put them to one side now I want my plugs to be really glittery, like these ones, so I find it easier to put the glitter in first, then put the resin in, because sometimes if you put the resin in, it can start to go hard quicker than what you expect, and then it will be really hard to work with, and you don't really want air bubbles in it. So, Some pink. Some white. almost forgot to put sellotape on the bottom of these ones. So seal the bottom with sellotape. Like so. Okay. So now you have the glitter in there. You want to get your resin and your glue resin hardener. So then you want to get your glue and you want to do 50-50. So, one, two, three, like so. One, two, three, like that. Take your orange stick and start mixing. It's better to mix it slowly, otherwise you can get air bubbles. And you want to work quite quickly as well because you don't want it to go hard. And when it's all mixed in, you can start to pour it into your plugs. Well, tunnels, which will soon be plugs. Doesn't matter if it goes over the edge because it can always come back out when it's dry. It will just pop right off. Uh, that one. It should smooth itself out. And the other one. So I've run out. Um, I'm going to have to make some more. <laughs> And there you go. With the excess resin, I like to put it on one of my old lighters. So I like to just smear it on a lighter and it just adds some texture and glitter and you know, just somewhere to put it. So just make it look different. 
And there you go, that's how you make glitter plugs using stainless steel tunnels. So once you've filled your stainless steel tunnels with your glittery mixture, um, I would definitely leave them overnight to dry, at least 24 hours, otherwise if you peel the sellotape off it could come away and you don't want that. So leave them for a good day overnight and then once they have 100% dry, just peel the sellotape off the bottom and then you should have some pretty acrylic glittery plugs and you can wear them either way when you get them in a single flat so you can have them that way or that way and yeah so that's basically it guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope you found it easy to follow so I hope you all have some really cool sparkly plugs and if you try this then send a picture and send it to me on my Facebook page so I can see what your plugs have turned out like and yeah I love you guys lots and I'll see you soon bye